Alright guys, so surprisingly FSD Beta 11.3.1 was released to the public yesterday and if you guys were expecting leaps and bounds above V10 and below, you guys are going to be in for a disappointment here. Now at first I was pretty shocked that after I just released a video, Tesla released the public build of 11.3.1. Now the only downside to it really is that it's only going to start off with the OG testers, meaning that anybody else that has subscribed to FSD Beta right now isn't going to get the official rollout. Now before we get to talking about what I found quite surprising and what is quite disappointing with this update, I'll talk about the NDA disclosure of what Tesla originally put out for this build. So overall, it was a quite weird couple of weeks and months. Tesla originally promised that the 11.3 is going to be released by Thanksgiving, which definitely did not happen and they were stalled at 11.3 build. I guess there were too many kinks and bugs going on that they really just gave a couple employees access to the build and eventually they just pushed it aside and started working on all the other official hardware upgrades. Now, I don't know how much all that played into the delay of 11.3, but it seemed like they started making making progress again. And just about a week ago, 11.3 had a kickstart again and a couple employees had it running on the roads and it seemed like it was working pretty well. There were a couple cosmetic changes to it. Now there weren't any NDA sign or non-disclosure agreements, so they were freely able to post it on YouTube and talk about it and do whatever they really wanted with the software. But just recently, 11.3.2 was released to employees and there was a non-disclosure agreement saying essentially they could not get this information leaked out. But that's where the weird thing came in. They started releasing it to the public as well without the NDA. So essentially owners were able to do whatever they wanted with it and it was the exact same build as what the employees had although they had to sign an NDA. So overall a very odd experience and a weird choice of what Tesla is doing right now but we got a couple first videos coming out from the OG testers and from the looks of it I'm going to give you guys some disappointing news. I don't see much of an upgrade. Now unfortunately I wasn't in the first batch so I didn't get the software update put meaning that I had to just watch videos online just like you guys are. And my first impressions of it is that it's really great. It's a lot better than V10 and definitely better than V11 even. 11.3.1 really refined everything. If you guys take a look at some of the screenshots here, you'll see that things are just a lot more clear. Things are just a lot more labeled out. And some of the videos that I watch, there's a lot less jittering and a lot less cars moving in and out. But in terms of the overall improvements, it really just ends at that. There isn't that much improvements that I have been seeing from the videos and a lot of people here have been tweeting it earlier this morning saying that they're pretty much experienced the same things as they did with version 10. Although now it's a single stack version, it seems like Tesla was focusing on the highway stack a lot more. They were really focusing on the aspect where it transitions from the city to the highway. Now you'll probably see a lot of non-intervention drives from the typical people that you see on YouTube and they always tell that FSD is pretty much ready. If you watch back on some of the previous videos, you'll even see version 8, version 9, and version 10, they tell that it is a non-interventional drive most of the times. Now the one thing that I noticed here is that it works a lot better in California than it works anywhere else. San Francisco and Los Angeles is the only place that you want to be if you want to have a non-interventional drive. And even at that, there are times I'm sure that you'll get those interventions that must be taken, otherwise the car will get you into an accident. Now, I mean, at this point, 11.3.1 is a major improvement. It's leaps and bounds across from what we've seen previously. However, there is a lot of other improvements that need to be done in the city and in the parking stack before it gets anywhere near autonomous. Now, I know there's a whole legal thing going on with NHTSA and Tesla, and Tesla had to pause the whole FSD beta rollout, and that has been somehow corrected in this recent push of the software. I'm sure in the release notes and somewhere online, people is going to be breaking down all the things that they have fixed and it's going to be ready to roll off the line. But from what it is right now and from the videos that I've seen online right now outside of California, the car is not behaving any different than the previous builds that it was running on. So yeah guys, take it with a grain of salt that 11.3 is going to be the build that is going to change things completely. I'm expecting to see at least version 12 or version 13 before it's even near level 3. Now don't take me wrong, I am a super fanboy of Tesla. 
Tesla and I really love everything they're doing but there is a lot of things that they should be focusing on right now especially the ultrasonic sensors and hardware 4. Now on a note of hardware 4 there is one positive thing yesterday while the release of FSD beta 11.3.1 they also released a specific firmware for hardware 4 vehicles which enables at least the autopilot features that was missing when they took delivery of it so that issue has completely been resolved but yeah guys it's only been about a day since FSD beta version 11.3.1 has come out there's going to be a lot more improvements before the official wide release comes out so if you guys want further updates please hit that subscribe button that bell notification i'll update you guys as soon as i hear any other news this should be it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it once again this is john peace out